Hi guys, welcome to HowMachineWorks.com. Today, with the help of this animation, let's learn how a Stirling engine exactly works. So, uh, let's identify all the components initially. We have the rotating disc over here, or it does the function of a flywheel in a normal engine. Then we have the engine cylinders over here. Okay, that's the displacer piston. There are two pistons here. One is the displacer piston, which is in green, and then we have the power piston, which is in orange. Okay, then we have a kerosene or an alcohol burner, which actually is used to heat the air inside the engine. So we have uh, links also coming in. You can see some links over here. Those are connected towards both uh, the pistons, both the displacer piston and also towards the power piston which connects towards the disc. So that's a flywheel or it can be considered as a disc over there. Okay, let's see the animation and learn how exactly uh, the sterilized engine works. So watch the entire animation and learn it. Uh, right then uh, I must say this that expansion of the gas when heated and compression of gas when cooled actually makes the sterilite engine works so we have air getting expanded inside uh, the engine which is on the left hand side you can see in the pink color and on the other side which is in light green we have the air which is getting uh, compressed uh, it's becoming colder at that section let's see how it exactly happens uh, let's see how the displacer piston actually works initially so the green colored piston over there which is marked as displacer piston actually uh, is a very critical part of this engine let's see how it exactly works so here this is a hotter area because we use the kerosene uh, burner over here or the alcohol burner over here to heat the air at that section so that's the hotter air and here we have the colder air because it uh, expands and comes back toward this region and gets in contact with the air outside uh, and it gets colder so there uh, it compresses over here in the colder region and hotter region it expands right and uh, here the expansion is happening as uh, uh, the air expands when it gets heater it creates a pressure on the displacer piston and resulting in the displacer piston to move from the left side towards the right side like this and you can see the green displacer piston moves back due to the expansion of the hot air at that region so here we have the colder air so this colder air moves towards the left side through uh, the section at the top and the bottom between uh, the cylinder and the displacer piston so that's how it reaches here you can see as the green displacer piston moves towards the rear it results in the movement of the cold air to the front of the engine so that's what we are showing all there and the cycle continues and the displaced piston displaces the hot and the cold air continuously uh, due to the movement of the displacer piston and as the hot air gets to the rear it gets cold and the cold air moves towards the front gets heated up by the alcohol or the kerosene burner over there so um, thus the function of the displacer piston is to move the gas between both the ends that means the hot to the cold and from the cold region to the hotter region so this is how the piston actually moves you can see if uh, the piston is actually moving from the rear side towards the front and as a result of that what happens is the hot air gets displaced towards the cold region so you can see the hot air is thus getting transferred towards the cold region when the displacer piston actually moves uh, right so now let's see the power piston uh, let's see how uh, exactly the power piston works it moves and adjusts the volume as the gas moves that's what uh, the power piston is doing so the power piston controls the internal volume of the gas as the displacer piston moves and the hot and air moves inside and outside there's a change in volume happening which is adjusted by the help of this power piston which actually stores the uh, energy also the power that's why it's called as the power piston and it's giving towards the disc and stored in the disc and continuously the whole engine is getting worked so you can see over here uh, this is how both the displacer piston in green and the power piston works and this both the pistons are actually connected towards the link you can see the green link is connected towards the displacer piston which is in green and the blue link is connected towards uh, the power piston and both are actually linked you can see uh, the 
power piston link is connected towards the disc that's why it's called as a power piston because it takes away the energy from the power piston and gives it towards the disc and the disc functions like a flywheel which stores this particular energy and during the idle strokes it transfers energy back towards the power piston and to the displacer piston to function so you can see the movement over here how the links move so that's the link over there we have one two three four five links you can see one link is connected towards the displacer piston which is in blue and uh, the green link is actually connected uh, towards the power piston then we have uh, the ash colored links and another green colored link which is connected towards the disc over there so that's the disc now how links and disc work you can see the animation is very clear how it exactly works both the pistons move and as they move the links are connected towards them also move and as the links are connected towards the piston and the disc the energy gets transferred from the piston towards the disc and the same way from the disc towards the pistons and which result in the continuous movement of the engine and uh, you can see that's how exactly it works please click the subscribe button for more videos as we will be uploading more technical videos on a daily basis uh, visit our website howmachineworks.com for more technical content like comment share to motivate our team see the description for more links and details thanks for watching this video have a great day